Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Beginner Bass Lessons, all right? Thank you for joining me yet again. Today we're going to be talking about the minor scale. Now, the thing you need to know about the minor scale is that it comes from the major scale. In the previous lesson, we talked about the major scale as the foundation. And the minor scale actually comes out of the ingredients of the major scale. And I'm actually going to go through that in a later lesson. That'll be something called relative keys. Today we're just going to fo focus on the actual shape of the minor scale with a few details, a few minor details that I can bring up to help you understand how this is going to work. So we're going to start from 4-5 as we typically do. We're on A. And I want you to notice the shape and, and there are different shapes for this for this scale as with all scales. This is a beginner course. I want people to do what I think is the best shape for a beginner because you're not going to have to stretch the hand out super far. Everything's kind of tight and in one spot. So here's our minor scale shape, all right? There we have it, all right? So the pattern is one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three. All right. Just like with all scales, I want you to notice the fingers that are being used. All right. And the proper locations. All of the first fret notes are first finger, third fret notes, ring finger, fourth fret notes, pinky. You're not going to want to deviate from that at all got to get that pinky working all right the minor scale contains a minor third which is right there it also contains a minor seven right there and that would be the basis for your minor seven chord the one three five and flat seven all right I think that's going to cover it for today guys as with all scales on bass and guitar you can take this shape and move it anywhere provided you're above the first fret. So I'm gonna move this up three frets and I'll just play it again. All right, very simple. So you wanna memorize the pattern and the sound and understand that it contains a minor third and a minor seven, all right? that's all I got for you guys today. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments below. Please like, excuse me, please subscribe and have a great day.